You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. Finish it? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? <laughs> God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? We got none of that. Garbage out of a river. Hmm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? No, oh, some... Brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Kind of so, it, it, boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs like the second that you got off the plane. So, I kind of took this U-turn and it's like, oh, okay. Oh. Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> Oh, really? What? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? This one? Mm-hmm. Flights in Bangkok that um, are... We're having troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. Wow. All right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not but worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, you did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So, what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Okay, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning, all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, here we go. Ah! Crash Bandicoot. 
there a problem? No, no, just, uh, how do you, uh, how do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! Yeah, and press X to jump. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. Nice. Okay. Use your spin attack. Watch that pit. Jump over the pit. Well, he didn't jump far enough. What's the button for jump farther? Last life. You gotta make it count. Oh, I so got this. Oh, yeah. Way to go there. Not bad. Not bad. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the box. Ow! Oh, that had to hurt. It did probably hurt. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, easy No, just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning what you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in you. real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam! Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take <laughs> it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. But I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. <sighs> Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> Hey, hey, you still with me? Yeah. Need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. What's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. 
Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <laughs> These were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jesus, man, where do I start? Start with the best part. All right, you remember the uh, that beautiful astrolabe that I had that belonged to Sir Francis Drake? Oh, yeah, the, the one that, what's her name, stole in Cartagena. Yeah, Marlo. Yeah, Marlo. Well, I tracked it down, and all I had to do was fake my own death. That sounds easy enough. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring. The engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe, uh, Elena from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner, at my place. You're coming to dinner, I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about, what kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but... Uh... <sighs> well, you're not reading tonight. Samuel, come here. singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> well, I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. No. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo a plan. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit.
libertad. Nunca saldrás de aquí. Silencio. Jesus. This man is sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. You remember how to use it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector. You do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. The cross up. So now what? Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Estamos bien. Take cover! Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Stay back!
to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I uh, get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? Uh, it's kind of you said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay, but... I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is... I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear... Uh, 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 How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now, if you run, but try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid like go to the authorities. Oh, no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Here. Come on. Now, the nearest town. It's ten kilometers in that direction, towards the sunrise. Been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Mamos! When I find it. Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. Buena suerte, Samuel. Let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap. 
crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi Estate? Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And uh, where are you gonna get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take... We are. Oh, no. Oh, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Uh, I don't know, like, uh... Jesus. Anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got on that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Yeah. I know, I know, but, uh... It's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. And it'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam, we could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tucks clean. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you know, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well, 
Now the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, so this this isn't your first time here? Oh, it's more like uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs with Sullivan. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Hey, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> See? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so where to next? First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lista. Ehi, hey, hai scommesso sulla partita? Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. You're right. <sighs> All those years. <laughs> it's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. should hold. All right, come on down. Landing's a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> so, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, <clears throat> the ones I missed, <clears throat> you at least take any pictures? <clears throat> oh, 
I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <clears throat> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. <clears throat> but I don't miss. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? Be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah. Uh, about that. What? What about that? Come on. Let me show you something. Take a look. <laughs> That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, but how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the gods see us, make <laughs> it for that cross. But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. 
That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. Mm. Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? Waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Mm -hmm. That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. Huh? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? I just know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger yeah. that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. I'll cut through the cellar. It seems you Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it out to go on beach. Scusi? Hell no. You see, I thought I had a reason to sell out. Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Pardon me? Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. 
Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is? Every once in a while a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. That's so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah. Right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting them mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. And let's go find the kitchen. Man. There's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh, yeah. They're a full-service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. What is this? This gig wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. There you go. Fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. There we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a. Yeah, that'll do. Guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Now, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sam. I can talk his way out of anything. There you go. This way.
Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Holding the lighter. <laughs> okay, up we go. All right, there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <clears throat> a lot more dusty. The Baldi looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around right here. rubati ai ricettatori che si chiama Fresh air here we come Hey check this out you see that building with the radio tower You mean the cell tower the What Whatever, listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, that must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sarah. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? Right. So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm going to head back to the ballroom. Not at all. <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great.
Okay, let's get to the power room. <clears throat> Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the power room. Not a... Uh... <laughs> Sam, you there? <laughs> Sam? Sully? Great. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. Hey, when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? 
Victor Sullivan. Where the hell are you? Rafe. How long have Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> Just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your... I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, little man. I don't know how you scam your way in here, but if you think... About bidding on Avery's cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. Spot. <laughs> Well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate. Nate. <laughs> Power room. I can do this. God, why did I pick the power room? Why did I pick the power room?
Speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and a break. He has the highest bid. Well, I'll bit him. With what? Oh, that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing him, remember? What if he calls my bluff? Uh, he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yes. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Screw it. Bene, we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay, just gotta smash the lock. But with what? Now the bid has reached 130,000. <sighs> nope. We are now at 140. Your Nothing. Damn it. All the way to 150,000 euros. It's gotta be something. Come on. Oh, man. I'm starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a second. Your bid makes 150,000. Yes. We are now at 180,000 euros in the game. <laughs> has now reached 150,000. <laughs> gotcha. My goodness, we are now at 200,000 euros in the All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's speed, 210,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Be worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey! Stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak! Sparish! Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You wanna say hi? Yeah, we've really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around.
Cosa che si muoveva vicino alla torre. Devi farlo sapere a tutti, cazzo. Tieni gli occhi aperti.
Climb and get a good vantage point. Sappiamo cosa fare. Resta concentrato. D'accordo. How we doing, Nathan? I'm on my way. Heading to higher ground to get my bearings. All right, see you soon. Yeah. There's the ballroom. Driveway's right in front. Okay. Everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. Just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Oh. Scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what. I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. No, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... Oh! You'd what? <coughs> Alright, fine. <clears throat> Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. <clears throat> Don't telegraph. <clears throat> <clears throat> nice try. I gave you that one. Free. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify. Alright, look. I'm still a little jet lagged. Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? Well, you know, being a smart ass has gotten me this far in life. Why quit now? Alright, wait, wait! It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> 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 Just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. <laughs> Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. <laughs>
just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. <laughs> Just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. <laughs> So, okay, I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. All right, see you there. Victor, I'm kind of stuck here. Any ideas? The fastest way is through the ballroom. He said the ballroom is locked out. Yeah, well, now that they know it's you guys, they clear the place out. What ballroom it is. You get that thing? Yeah, got it. Diavolo si è cacciato. Cos'è stato?
almost to the ballroom. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. Oh, good. Driving a hearse, you better hurry. Manda. for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. It's your brother. All right. Skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Odie mecum eris 
in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the uh, year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but it means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. St. Dismas's Cathedral. Huh. Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral. But the graveyard is way over here. <sighs> Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Hey guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. That psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. But come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. <laughs> With all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. <sighs> I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. Things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and... I can... I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input. Both of you. Excuse me. But it's not his fault.